Welcome back. Uh, let's play some games. In fact, here I see a player is seeking a Supernova game. Let's uh, perhaps play them. We have not played yet, so this would be a good opportunity. They are a Yagra enthusiast, and I am interested in learning more about Yagra. So let's have some fun. Sorry, we're going to go into emotes only mode for this. Assuming they accept. If they don't, then, you know, we'll just put a seek out there and eventually get an opponent. And Okay, there we go. Um, I forgot. I was using another device. Alright, good luck. Um, also, I don't have my 81 dojo badge here. Now it is. Alright, cool. Uh, let's play Central File Rook. Immediately I'm confused. Um, interesting. I suppose if I wanted to see Yagra, I would have to either keep my Rook on this file, or commit to facing Rook. Um, this would inspire, um, such a reaction from an opponent. They have built Boat Castle. And now we're going to see um, what their next move is. So if I'd opened the bishop diagonal first, they might have countered by opening the same diagonal, and then this pawn push in the center would not be so great. But as is, this position's just fine for me. Um, well, their profile said Yager Enthusiast. Um, hmm. How hard do I want to commit to Central File Rook? Because we ha could have some interesting tactics if I try to smash the third file. could be very perilous though. I want to continue practicing this opening. All right. Um, I'm trying to remember if I play e5 here or if I play pawn 5 5 then can I play pawn uh, 5 4 next? Or do I have to wait for a good timing to do that? Okay, I'm going to dodge this way because I think this is appropriate. Um... The way we're playing this is pretty bizarre. Um, I'm going to play that so I don't lose the opportunity later to have that played. I'm trying to remember everything Shogi Harbor was saying about this recently. Because I'm supposed to have learned many things. Um, so, yeah, I want to oppose this rook here. Right, and they have to play that against my bishop. They haven't pushed any of their other pawns yet, which is kind of weird. Alright, that's a pawn push. So I think this is the best timing for me to play my center pawn. 
And now I've got the center pawn in hand. And my rook is on an open line. Um, I want to complete Mino. I want some sense of timing for what's going on here. Wait, now if I raise my bishop, uh, they push this pawn. That would not be great. Um, normally, I should have advanced my silver behind my pawn, and I didn't do that. And now I feel dumb. As I should. Um... So yeah, I've misplayed this opening. Um, but okay, I'm going to defend my king. So there is a weakness right over there. Okay, this is bizarre. This is super bizarro. Um, and only most of that's my fault. I'm so paranoid. I need to be a little bit less paranoid and a little bit more effective at what I'm doing. Okay, that's super bizarre as well. This is begging me to play on the right-hand fourth file. That is an open invitation for war. And why? What is the purpose behind such a battle? 
If I play this, they move. I just should just continue building my castle because I don't have a clear attack. If I had a clear attack, that'd be one thing. I'm wishing I did. If I push my pawn, they move the bishop. If I take, bishop takes, bishop takes, silver takes. And I don't have anything. And having the maturity to admit that is hard. Um, okay, this does stop me from advancing the right-hand fourth file pawn, which I really wanted to advance. Um, right, so I got my opponent to play this move voluntarily. Um, Hopefully I'm not misreading this. There is a possibility that I'm misreading this. Oh, I should have pushed my freaking land, uh, bishop. That was a huge whiff on my part. Um, thankfully, I can still push it. So yeah. Now we have one piece that's broken the barrier. <sighs> Starts with one. All right, I missed that. I was so excited about having achieved something against this opponent that I missed a rather strong counter. Um, all right, I don't like this pawn anyway. Oh, they do promote. I keep forgetting on which ranks uh, pieces promote. That's not really good for me to forget. So I'm most concerned about uh, Rook 9-8 here, or Dragon 9-8, um, which is going to require they take my pawn first.
that looks beautiful. Does it do something? I don't know. Hmm. So if my silver runs away, how bad is this? Well, they promote and then they move rook 9-8. Actually, this pawn gets in their way. So I need to run. And this covers all the important squares. Just by some freak accident. Got my T. Interesting. They're choosing to chase my token. Or rather, that's a lance, but they're chasing it regardless what it is. It really can't move very far. Um, so forward it goes. Yeah, that's clever. Um, hmm, developing is going to be challenging here. I mean, my lance could chase after the knight. I don't see what else it could do. And this knight does prevent my rook from promoting, so... Kind of makes a lot of sense to chase the knight here. There's a lot of tactics that all do not favor me here, or that all disfavor me. Right, so I have to take this. Otherwise, if I do rook takes pawn, I get a pawn to the rook's face, and that's no good. All right. Um, this is less than ideal. But um, let's threaten to sacrifice for the silver so I can promote my rook. Um, additionally, I'm threatening stuff on the ninth file. 
my lance. Not sure what else I have threatened, but probably something else too. So if I really want my rook to promote, I've got to get rid of this pawn. If. Maybe I don't. Maybe it's okay to not promote the rook. Pieces desire freedom. They move forward. Uh, and the bishop is a piece, so it desires freedom. Right. This gets tricky. Actually, no. I don't have a lot of options here, so this isn't as tricky as I imagined. I'm just going to go block my rook again, um, because I don't have anything better to do. So again, my rook is trapped. All of my pieces are screaming for freedom, which I cannot grant. Maybe someday, but today it's not possible. Um, I know my rook very much wants freedom. And I do not want this dragon on my side of the board. But to free my rook, I've got to take all the opposing pieces, which are preventing my rook from escape. So this is going to take a while. Um, interesting. We're going to play with fire because, you know, I have a pawn. Let's use a pawn. If we had something else, we would use something else, but we have a pawn today. Right, this is the correct move. Pawn to the rook's face. And then I can't take it because of, well, okay, that's even better. Um, hang on. My bishop's in an awkward spot. We need to let the bishop through. Yeah, I think pawn directly on the rook's face is more forceful, more accurate even. Because now I can actually threaten rook takes pawn. Alright, so my rook is attacked um, by a bishop. We're going to put another piece on the board. 
and another fuel for the fire, if you will, because I don't want to give my rook away just yet. Oh, right. Um, I mean, I've kind of read this, but needed to read this more before playing it. Um... Well, we're going to go for it and just assume this is okay. We've got a silver. They've got silver and two knights, which should be scary. Um but we were able to force other exchanges. So they're going to give a silver, two knights, a rook, and soon a lance. Um, All right, the lance is mine. No lance for you. Um, Oh, this is well spotted. Um, what do I do about that? We're going to counterattack. I can't sit still forever. Maybe a knight is just what I need. Who knows? It's not, but maybe it is. Well, that's painful. If I said otherwise, then I would be lying. Um... So I think this is why Silver Crown is so important. Like, you have to get the... Um, you have to push the spawn and get the knight out as part of Silver Crown.
Okay, so... I don't know if they their attack was maybe premature. It doesn't look that way, but I can hope. I make such a theory because if it's correct, that could have implications for whether I could hold this or not. Why did I do that? Well, no, if he draws the dragon closer, I can hit the dragon. So there is a point to it. Um, This is not great. Oh, clever. I thought I had something covered, and it really looks like I don't. Wait, have I just transposed? Albeit having sacrificed a lot of material to get here, is this a transposition into half Mino? No, not really, and that's why not. Hmm. Well spotted. Okay. Um. Hmm, this is not great. Let's just add more fuel to the fire, shall we? This doesn't work, I'm screwed. So let's play it. If this is my only fighting move, we're gonna fight. Sanjugio
30秒40秒Uh, uh, spoilers. This is probably lost. What is a knight good for here? How is a knight useful? Oh, that's checkmate. That'll do it. Uh, good game. Alright, it's not super common that a player gets mated and didn't see it the previous move. Yeah, thank you for the game, and have a nice day. Um, that's entirely fine, too. So I am kind of curious, like... About a lot of things, really. Um, uh, so, I, yeah, probably like here, even. I probably just need to do this sort of thing. Yeah. Huh. I don't know. So, um, like, this is the thematic idea. Um, but. Not totally sure what else there is to this. Um, yeah, clearly they had an they had advanced on this side. Okay, good. They have no additional comments. I can zoom back in on the board. Try to understand exactly what happened this game. Um, so, oh, at some point I had built a uh, high mino, but. Uh, I attacked before transitioning to Silver Crown. And here they are set up to attack. So timing-wise, maybe I need to do this. Although that kind of... There are advantages and disadvantages to this. But if I'm going to give them a knight, having this in play will make a big difference. Um... If I'm not giving them a knight, that's a different matter. Oh. Hey. We've got a challenge. Um. Sure. Sure. Yes, after our post-game analysis, we'll have a game with Destiny. Okay. Um. Alright, so that's good. Yeah, I have a teaching ladder game with Destiny uh, to follow this. So, um, yeah, they had broken uh, in on this file. Honestly, this is pretty crazy. This just shows that I don't understand edge file attacks as well as I could. Um, I just got impatient, really. Um, but yeah, I'm so accustomed to getting overwhelmed on my third file that I decided it was time for me to attack. Which is not how you conduct a plan. A plan would be figuring out what you're going to do, and then finding steps to achieve it. And we didn't do that here. We just went for it. Um, because I was so concerned about this. 
Oh, the same way, like, I played this. Like, I didn't... I'm still learning here. I need to cut myself a little bit of slack, but... Yeah, I allowed my opponent to overwhelm my position. Um, I just didn't have any sense of timing for what was going on here. So, I need to, like, play this. And maybe... I don't know. The world is our oyster. Um, I was so excited, but, uh, yeah, there's an advantage to keeping this pawn here, too. Um, so, yeah, stuff like this would have been just fine. Instead, I left my silver anchored in place and struggled to develop my pieces the rest of the game. So that's me losing to a 2Q. Um, uh, even here, there's probably ways I can make it more interesting. I really want my rook to be active, but with my silvers this far back, what can I do? Um... I guess this is another idea. I don't know. It's hard to say. But I played so passively this game. I need to play a lot more actively. Um, so yeah, thanks uh, to my opponent for this interesting lesson. We did have some excitement toward the end. Um, so note that if I do take here, there is a mate. Like, this is pretty indisputable. Um, even if it somehow doesn't immediately mate, my king is just dead. So that's why I had to try to defend this. Um, bring my... Wait, how did we get here again? Oh. So what if I tried this instead? Um, I'm guessing they have a move like this, or maybe even like this. Not totally sure, but feels like I'm getting mated if my horse doesn't make it back. So maybe, well here there's not much I can block with. I could block here. Yeah, this could be interesting. Um, although I think I'm lost here. So if they take... Yeah, I don't know. It's more complicated. Nope, that's not doable. Um... But yeah, if I have my horse right next to this, it's a big target. So, um, yeah, I think I'm lost in any event. But yeah, well played. Um, what was this opening again? This was Boat Castle. And just putting all your generals in a big clump in a corner of the board. Um, and yeah, I just need to play way more actively and put my pieces on the right squares, and I make that sound easy and it's not, but that's the sort of thing I need to do in the future. Alright, good game.